Okie Soki, it's a brand new day in New Vegas and we find ourselves in my dingy apartment or motel room in Novak. Yes, yes, my teddy bear cult is all well and good. They are all having a little snooze and that is what we love to see. Now last time we were in New Vegas, Kaiser, our lord and saviour, he asked us to go and meet with the White Glove Society at the Ultralux to form an alliance between the Legion and the Cannibals. And honestly, nothing sounds better in my mind than doing that. However, today, well today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be going off track for a minute because there are a couple more things that I want to do before we keep working for Kaiser. And as we're walking into the strip, I would just like to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed, all the support I'm getting. I'm nearly at 3,000 subs, which is just mind-boggling. It was only last week when I was saying, guys, I'm getting close to 2,000. Can you please subscribe? And here we are, nearly a 1,000 more subs up, and it is just... I have no words, so honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, every single person watching this. Now, if you haven't subscribed, I try and upload every two to three days, and it's always Fallout content. I don't think I'm going to be straying too far away from that for now, so if that interests you, hit subscribe. It will help me out a lot, and you'll get to see me being an absolute doofus playing evil runs and one intelligent runs and all that sort of stuff. What have you got to lose? And if you decide that you like what you see and you stick around for most of this video, hey, hit the like button as well. We can now get on with the evil doings, and here we are. We're at the NCR Embassy. Why are we here, you ask? Well, let's have a little look. Once upon a time, I received a note from Ambassador Crocker, the NCR Ambassador, and he wished to speak to me immediately. In his letter, he said, Allow me to reassure you that if you have committed any crimes or misdemeanors against the Republic, it is in my power to pardon this sort of misconduct. We're going deep cover today. That's what's happening. We are going deep cover as a member of the NCR. And to do that, we're going to introduce ourselves to Liza O'Malley. Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Thank you, Liza. You have been extremely helpful. It is wild to me that I would be allowed to just waltz in here and um, go and see the ambassador. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he's just sitting in here by himself. He is. Look at that. I've just waltzed in. That <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Look, if, uh, you know what? Good for them. Hello, Ambassador Crocker. You received my message. Good. I have a business proposition I'd like to discuss with you. I am listening. Tell me about this proposition. To the Northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munitions stockpile that would be... Ooh. Um. <coughs> Ooh. No <laughs> that might be a bit... <laughs> do you think you would be able to do this for me? Ambassador, look, the, uh, <laughs> oh man, look, can I just say, um, <laughs> look, man, I've, uh, uh mm, I've actually met with the boomers already. Oh. Look, I, uh, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> oh, this is so awkward. I don't think it's going to work out, dude. This, oh no, does this mean that I'm not going to get pardoned by the NCR? That's disappointing. They could have been a big help to us. Okay, so we've <laughs> we've spoken to Ambassador Crocker and immediately he wanted us to go see the boomers, but we uh, we kind of already met the boomers and it didn't go according to plan for them. So does that mean that like my reputation with the NCR hasn't been changed or except <laughs> I'm accepted. I'm e <laughs> oh man. I am now accepted by the NCR. I think I was a sneering punk before, and I'm accepted now because I walked into the embassy, said, what can I help you with? And then promptly told the ambassador that I was unable to help with the situation because the situation, well, it's already been resolved in quotation marks. Well, there we go. We're now accepted by the NCR and we can move on with our day. Ambassador, it was nice to meet you. No doubt we will meet again soon. And here we are. We find ourselves at Camp McCarran and I have a feeling a few of you might know what we're doing here. For all of you who have played New Vegas and are pretty familiar with it, which I'd assume are most people, I have never done the evil side of the monorail quest. Never. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm walking into, but I figured being accepted or at least having my reputation reset set by meeting the ambassador would make this a whole lot easier. So, we're going to talk to Colonel James Shu. What brings you to Camp McCarran? Listen, Colonel, look, I am here to provide you with support. Anything you need. Yeah, on top of everything else. I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. I could look into the NCR intel leaks for you, sir. Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. 
Okay, and here we go. Quest added, I put a spell on you. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this straight away. And that is to go and talk to our friend, Captain Curtis. Again, it's actually that funny that the NCR will just allow me to wander around. <laughs> <laughs> just because I walked into the embassy and was like, hey man, I destroyed the boomers. Can I have uh, forgiveness now? <laughs> Hello, Captain Ronald Curtis. Nice to meet you. Colonel Shu, he wants me to help you look into the recent intel breaches. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Well, where should I start, Captain? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. Well, there we go. Captain Curtis has given us our orders, and we are straight away going to go and talk to Lieutenant Boyd, who is also currently doing an interrogation. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to bypass the interrogation and leave that for later. I'm kind of hoping so. Let's see what she's got to say for herself. Hello, Boyd. Have you noticed anything suspicious going on lately? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Is there anything that you're able to tell me about all the breaks? Break-ins going on? Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Would you be willing to give me the key so that I can go and check it out? Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communities. She just gave me the key like that. <laughs> to a military <laughs> asset. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Thank you very much, Lieutenant. And uh, our good friend right there, the Legion member. I don't know his name. Silas? Is it Silas? Silas, we will be back to you shortly. Do not worry. Hang tough, buddy. Okay, and there we go. We've got the key to the tower, which means that we can go and stake it out. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the perpetrator will show up around midnight, maybe 1am. So we're going to get in there and we're going to wait and see who shows their face. Should be very interesting. And I think if we wait, the person should just show up and say hello straight to us. Yeah, hey, look, it's your buddy editing Capra here once again to just remind all of you that I am indeed an idiot and I should not have been waiting in this building to confront the perpetrator. If you're watching this, you probably already knew that. Lupa, this is Rumentarius Picus. Over. Go ahead, Picus. Afternoon patrol enters fiend territory at 1300. Well, there we go. I did have to leave and come back, but we have found out who is leaking the intel. Place. Could you believe? It is Captain Curtis himself. Sorry, I didn't mean to show up here. Is there a bathroom in here anywhere? I can't let you leave. Wow, so he's angry at me? Dude, we could have we could have made this work. I I want this to happen too. I want this to happen as well, man. But if you don't want this. Then there's nothing that I can do. And there we go. Captain Ronald Curtis is dead. He's gone. He's out of there. It is upsetting. And now we must go and save ourselves a monorail. However, we're not going to save the monorail at all. No, 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 no. We're going to allow it to happen. The monorail. You know, I rarely make it to see the monorail. I've actually never taken it to get inside the strip either. I know you can do that. It's just one of those things that I never make it around to seeing, you know? The train is about to depart. Oh dear. That is a shame. That is a huge, huge shame. I we hate to see that. We really, really do. Hopefully there weren't many people on board, you know, that would be just a shock. That would be a shame. Anyways, I've got to go now. It is entirely hilarious to me that no alarms are going off. There are not a bunch of soldiers running around. No one's losing their shit. Everyone seems pretty calm for a monorail exploding just above them. Like these guys haven't even sprung into action. They're just chilling. Colonel, I came as quick as I could. What happened? The monorail. It's it's just it, the monorail is destroyed. God damn it! How could I have let this happen? The NCR appreciates. Dude. <laughs> Will there be anything else? Oh, man, dude, are you for real? I. <laughs> dude, I just got rewarded for letting the monorail explode. I just got rewarded. I have I have got no words. That is hilarious. I'm gonna face no repercussions for this, guys. It was me. I'll tell you flat out, it was me. What? 
man. Oh, man. This game is actually too funny. Hey, <laughs> everyone's just calm, collected, cool as cucumbers. Guys, the monorail just fucking exploded up there. What the hell? Now, while we're here, we're also going to do another little piece of evil doing. Hello there, sir. How are you? No, I'm very good as well. I don't know what happened to the... Oh, you're a talkable person. Hello. Nice job out there. Nice job out there, he says to me. Nice job. Yep, you know what? I am doing the Lord's work. That is correct. Thank you so much for appreciating that. You know, I, I love you. All right, and we're here to talk to our favorite soldier once again. Hello, Miss Boyd. Did you know if you just didn't give me the key, the monorail would still be working? This is on you. You're back. Listen, I am back. Did you need any help with anything? Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. Listen, Lieutenant, have you tried calling him hurtful names? Because that's what I'd do. Yes, and one time I thought I saw a tear when I told him his uniform was unflattering. I mean, that's just not good enough. You should have called him an arsehole with a big nose. I mean, look at it. It's kind of big. I can see it from here. Look, why don't you just beat the shit out of him? I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. All right, in we go to talk to Silas, Silas, whatever the hell his name is. Hello there, sir. Hi. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? Worm? Yeah, well, you've got a big nose. That's low intelligence. You stinky. <laughs> what? What is that? Yeah, you stinky, Silas. I must admit that a conversation with an imbecile may be far worse than... <laughs> Oh, uh, I am an imbecile. That is correct. Look, I'm just, I'm just messing with you, man. I'm actually a friend of Kaisar's. I'm here to help. Kaisar's eyes truly are everywhere. Did the officer send you? Look, Silas, I don't know what officer you're talking about. I work independently. I have heard that he's been radioing high-level NCR intelligence back to Kaisar's camp virtually every. Oh, there you go, <laughs> Captain <laughs> Curtis, who we killed, was the Legion spy. You know what? You got to break a few eggs to make an omelet. He, he, he was the, he was the egg. A gun in there that should be small enough to get past the lieutenant. When she comes back, I want you to go and get it for me. Simple enough. That is very simple. Uh huh. I will bring you the fire stick. Good. You need to punch me until I'm bleeding and weak. Well, 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 Silas. You have enraged me. Dude, did I actually just miss? I, dude, what is... <laughs> I have such a problem with swinging and missing. Ha! Oh my god. Dude, imagine being... <laughs> imagine being the lieutenant. And, <laughs> and seeing that. Dude, I'm like Superman. Oh my god. Oh, dude. Oh, those first. <laughs> those first. Dude, we went flying. Come back here, man. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get them as good as that one. That was fucking... That was great. That was so funny. Oh, man. <laughs> dude. Dude, just give up. <laughs> just give up, Silas. It's not worth it. <laughs> that is actually that funny, man. Oh, oh, this is actual true comedy. Oh, man, that's funny. Oh, my God. I'm getting a good tickle out of this one. All right, you can stop for a sec. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. What's he doing? I've scrambled his brain. I've scrambled his brain. Right, dude, nice what's he doing? <laughs> Lieutenant, I think I broke him. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, <laughs> if I just broken the game doing this, what are you doing, Silas? <laughs> oh. Oh, that was so funny, man. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, yeah, I need to get the pistol. Okay. Oh, dude, that was funny funny as hey so Alice have you got it yes I have it right here please take the pistol good give it to me I'm going to pretend to be unconscious oh so Alice there you go he's pretending to be unconscious what a huge actor that was very believable wasn't it lieutenant Poor guy. He's all tuckered out. Corporal Walter Hornsby I am so sorry dude for what is about to go down 
What the? Boom! Oh my god, Silas! Uh oh Oh, dude, I thought he was about to start eating him. I was about to have the biggest respect for him. Holy shit. And with that, Silas will disappear into the sunset. Actually, I'm not too sure where he goes. We're going to follow him. Silas, you are walking so slow, dude. Come on, man. Stinky slow Silas. Okay, he's out the door. And he's gone. He's gone. He's just disappeared. Okay. All right. I suppose our time at Camp McCarran is all done, yeah. Which leaves us now with a new opportunity. You see, we have crippled Camp McCarran, even though no one seems to really be reacting to it. We have destroyed the monorail and freed the Legion prisoner. And no one suspects me of any wrongdoing. In fact, they were praising me for a job well done, which is just... We did have to kill the Legion spy, but to be fair, he attacked me first, so... Look, man, you attack me, I attack you. It's just, it's simple mathematics. Now, yes, I am back in my room in Novak because I have something stashed here that I think will help us even more for the next part of my plan. And what we're gonna do is disguise ourselves as an NCR member. A long time ago, I can't remember where, I picked up some of their armor. There we go. I really do look like a member of the NCR, you know? I really do fit the mold of the New California Republic. And you can't tell me otherwise. And so, our next course of action is going to be to hit up Helios 1. Yes, we're going to go there and we're going to figure out what to do with all of the power that that station generates. Now look, I understand. You can, you can send it off into New Vegas. You can provide energy for the people. You can also send it off to the NCR. Who's shooting? Who is interrupting? My speech. Come on, show yourselves who was interrupting me. Was it you? That's it. Okay. She is out of here. Dude, and the explosion afterwards. <laughs> oh, does it get any better? Look, don't interrupt me while I'm speaking. Okay, now, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you look, you can send the energy where it's needed, you know. Help out those who really need the help. You know, the struggling citizens of the NCR, of the Strip, of of and like of New Vegas itself, you know, the outskirts. We can help all of those people. All right, and here we are, Helios 1. Yes, 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 yes. This is a restricted area. State your business. I am not going to be able to talk my way in here. God damn it. Surely not. Surely not. I saw this place in the distance and I just wanted to investigate. Or you're a legion spy trying to infiltrate our perimeter. Give me one good reason I should let you through. Look, I, I heard my brother was stationed here. I, I, wanted, I just wanted to know if he's okay. Sorry. No civilians inside. What I'm gonna do quickly is see if I'm able to boost myself to 35 speech. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, so we might just have to take Helios 1 by force, or we could sneak our way in. I'm not sure if that would work. It looks like the highest I can get is to speech 26. And take a look at what I look like. <laughs> look at what I look like, dude. That's with drugs, alcohol, a magazine, and two charisma pieces on. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in there. Also, why does the why does the helmet give you one charisma? That is <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. So we're not going to be able to get in <laughs> with the speech check. We're going to try sneaking in instead. See what goes on with that. Get ourselves a little stealth boy. And let's see what happens if we sneak into Helios 1. I don't really know if they're going to turn hostile or not. Stay where you are. You're not allowed in there. Sta what? This is your only one. What do you mean? How do you know I'm here? Surely they don't turn hostile. Well, I'm in here. Am I going to be able to just navigate my way through? Or are they all going to get angry? Maybe this is the play. to just stealth boy our way to victory here. I don't really want to take out all of the NCR yet just here. There's something else I've got in mind. But if I have to start punching, I'm going to just start punching the hell out of everybody. Are these guys gonna let me talk to them? Hello there, fantastic. Who the hell are you? They bring you in to replace me? <laughs> me take your job? Cause me smarter. Ah shit, man. You're direct, you're no nonsense. 
How am I supposed to compete with that? You pay me a stack of caps right now, and I'll forget that you've got my job. Ha! <laughs> you had me going for a second there. What are you trying to accomplish here? Well, see, we're getting power because the guy running this place is fantastic. Trouble is, most of the controls for this place aren't here. They're in the tower, killed two guys. Now they won't go near it. They want me to make an omelette, but I can't break any of their eggs. Dude, I just said something exactly like that. How I move shinies. This is great. How I move shinies. There's these two terminals outside. They control the mirrors. It needs to go to the Strip and McCarran. Now, Fantastic, of course, has one of the best lines in New Vegas, which is... It was easy, man. They were going door to door asking if anyone knew any scientists. I said, look no further. They asked me if I knew anything about power plants. I said as much as anyone I had ever met. They asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said, welcome aboard. Very good. Very good. An iconic line and one that is very well known around the fans of New Vegas. It pretty much en encapsulates how good the writing is in this game. It's fantastic. Now, I'm stealth boyed up again because I really do not want to start attacking anything or getting attacked or whatever. I just want this to go smoothly. Look, I want to kill as many NCR people as the next Legion member. However, like I said at the start, we're doing this deep cover because one day I will come for every member of the NCR but that day is not today we're doing active sabotage and I nearly walked straight into this shit holy demon what is Archimedes testing under no circumstances should any employee be outdoors on the plant grounds until the alarm klaxon has ceased and an all clear is given is that right well now let us just reset the mainframe connection here now, if I remember, there's like dogs in here or something, is there not? There's not? Why did I think there was dogs in here? Like, I'm pretty sure there's hostile dogs somewhere, right? No way. There's no way I'm locked out of this. Am I actually locked out of this? Dude. All right. Okay. I've looked it up. We're not, in, we're not in trouble. We just have to go and talk to the other scientist. Okay. All right. Of course. I should have just talked to him when I was there. Stupid move by a stupid man. Make me walk all the way back here. You're so freaking dead, Ignacio. Are you a soldier or a scientist? <laughs> Oh, man, dude, me shoulder. <laughs> well, that explains it. NCR, <laughs> Oh, that's so funny, man. Oh, that's so funny. I with me. Are you a maker of war or peace? <laughs> oh, man, no way. Dude, these are amazing. Oh, my God. I am a harbinger of pizza. That's reassuring. Although many who've made that claim to the followers of the apocalypse over the years have had less than pure intentions. He mentioned the followers of the apocalypse. Who are flowers of apocalypse? <laughs> we took it upon ourselves to piece together this knowledge and bring it back to them. Uh-huh. Makes sense. Say more word. It's in our nature to want to forget truths that keep us awake at night. So you're saying that this place, not just shiny juice maker? And I've seen equipment here marked with symbols used by the pre-war military. Targeting computers, shock sensors. Me help shoulders make shinies warm. As long as the power of this plant is committed to the regional grid and not to a weapon, we are safe. Where me send shiny juice? The need for power is great everywhere. Distributing it evenly is the most rational and humane choice. Do flowers and NCR bear play together? We did for a time. But our goals differ. Where flowers of Poclips live? Our largest presence is in Freeside at Old Mormon Fort. That was the best. That was the best conversation I've had in the game. I don't think it's going to get better than that. I'll be absolutely shocked if I come across dialogue options as funny as that. That was great. I actually love that. Could you imagine if you're able to talk to every single NPC like that? Holy shit. It would be an entirely different game with one intelligence. That was great. I, I loved every second of that. That was fantastic. And we'll reset this mainframe connection as well. And we're going to be able to go and select where to send the power. And obviously, I only have one place in mind. All right, and we're inside. We can go and send the power to wherever we like. Oh shit, Jesus, okay. All right, okay, lesson learned. Don't just walk straight out there, holy hell. I think this is gonna be a stealth boy kind of situation. They are just lighting me up. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. 
Jesus, oh my god, I can't believe I got both of them. That was so freaking lucky. Holy shit. I can't believe it. I can't even activate the turret control. Oh. So I think I'm going to be able to take a programmer's digest and a mentats. And I think... Yeah, we get in. Okay, all right. Okay, that's okay. My god. And that fixes one of the problems. Damn, I wasted a stealth boy. I didn't even have to use it. Oh my god. The, uh, the two-step goodbye gives and the two-step goodbye takes away just as instantly. I think this is going to be the first time we've taken on a sentry bot this playthrough. Oh my god, you're out of there, buddy. You, you're nothing. You're nothing to me. Oh my god, it's another sentry bot. Dude, do you see how big and bulky you are? Just come at me. Come on. Come through the door. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh my god, what an absolute jerk. Are you actually that scared of me? Get out of here. Like, what an absolute jerk just hiding around the corner. Do you see your firepower, dude? I've got my little itty bitty fist on. What the hell was that noise? Dude, oh my god, used his body against them. That's what we like to see. Elevator to Helios 1 observation level. Here we are, the main frame terminal. The mainframe is currently unresponsive. The amount of power reaching the terminal seems to be insufficient. Activate the auxiliary generator. I am too stupid to do that. Oh, that is so upsetting, man. Repair of 35. My repair's only 18. Oh, this is so upsetting, man. Python. This robot has been fitted with a variety of tools specialized for industrial maintenance. Oh my god, a Science 45 or a Poseidon ID card. Dude, where do you even get the Poseidon ID card from? I really don't want to have to look this up, hey. What's the bet the ID card's in there and I can't even lockpick it? Dude, one intelligence has... <laughs> Man, it's really hindering me a little bit. Oh my god, okay. I found an ID card. I so didn't want to have to look up. I hate doing that where you've got to look up something. I really didn't want to have to look up where to find it. I've found one. It's okay. It was accessible. We can go and activate Python. I All I did was backtrack a little... Is he just going to take off and do it? I believe in you to the generator. Man, he is moving. He's moving with purpose. He knows what must be done. There we go, Python has done his job, may I just say. You have absolutely saved my life, buddy. And we can now configure the power grid. And we can choose where the energy goes. You see, we have many, many places we can send it. We could send it to McCarran and the Las Vegas Strip. We could send it to Fremont and the West Side. We could even disperse it to the full region. Hey, we can even put it to the full region on the emergency output level. There are so many things we could do. We could also arm Archimedes 2. And look, let me tell you, from a moral standpoint, I don't really know what to do here. I've got no idea. Like, the, the people out there are suffering. They need, they need all the help they can get and a little bit of power every day. Well, that would just, I'm picking Archimedes 2. That's what's happening, okay? All right. May we please arm the Archimedes plant defense system? Yes, we can. We find ourselves on the observation deck. My God, what a view. What an absolute view. Yes. Oh, New Vegas. The serenity. Ah. Yeah, boys, look, don't worry. It's, um, it's just a drill. There's nothing to be worried about. 
unbelievable. The console is unresponsive. For it to operate properly, you need to activate it during peak sunlight hours. Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Look, everyone, the alarm system is failing, okay? You guys are just going to have to put up with that for a few hours more, all right? I'm deeply sorry. Enjoy your rest. Ah, the sun. Exactly what we needed to power. That's why it's all solar arrays and I'm trying to launch it at night. Look, you can forgive me. I've got one intelligence. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, dude. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. Oh my god. Dude, what? <laughs> oh, why didn't they just run inside? Hey man, that's not I pressed the wrong button. That's not on me. I shouldn't be shunned for that. I did I you know what? That's fine. I'll take the rap for that one. Dude, that was so that was so satisfying. Was that not satisfying? Yeah, that was satisfying. Okay, our job here is done. Oh my god, somebody's body part made it up here. There is no way. There's no way. Are you for real? <laughs> Holy shit. Python, I was gonna kill you, but you were just instrumental in allowing us to do that. So you have my thanks. You can survive the rapture. Thank you so much. Now, one thing is pestering me. I wonder if you can go back and talk to Ignatio, Ignatius? What's his name again? I wonder if you can go back and talk to that guy and if there'll be any more special dialogue for what we just did. Okay, let's see. Hello, Ignatio. What have you done? Get away from me. Are you for real? Are you? Okay, look, that's fair. You trusted me and you shouldn't have. I, look, I'll cop that one on the chin. That's on me. What about Fantastic? Does he have anything to say? Hey, man. What the fuck, man? Are you loco? You just killed my paycheck. Tensions are high. They both seem upset. Look, I don't make these rules, okay? I don't make the rules. <laughs> Damn, did you see that fantastic? He just flew and exploded. I, I, I have no words, man. That was crazy. There we go. It had to happen, okay? It had to happen. They didn't approve of my methods. Well, I think our job is pretty much done for today. We have, uh, we've done, we've done good, honestly. And we did this for Kaiser. You know, this isn't exactly what he asked us to do. But this, this was in his name. That would, this has all been for him. I do have one last piece of business today. Just to really, really rub it into the NCR. You see, while we did destroy their monorail and we did arm the Archimedes satellite and take out a huge portion of them at Helios 1, well, there's still one more thing that I want to do just to send a message, you know? That's what this is all about, is sending the message. So as I stroll up to the embassy in my NCR uniform, I would just like to say, if you've made it this far, thank you so much so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you stuck all the way around, consider subscribing. And if you liked the video, man, hit the like button as well. Ambassador, Ambassador, I'm back. I'm back and I am ready for my next assignment. Let me just um, check out this painting right here. 
Oh yeah, President Kimball. Mm. Yes, yes, fascinating picture and everything. Yeah, no, I really, really like it. I love it, it's great, it's excellent. <laughs> Look, worth the limb damage that I just took, honestly. Hated? Nobody saw me. Okay, well, we failed Don't Tread on the Bear, so the NCR are very angry at us, and I feel like that is the correct way to end all of this off. Well, I tell you what, I think we can leave it here. Yeah, this seems like the perfect end screen for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. I love you.